welcome back. And today I'd like to bring you a quick review for this. This is Before They Are Hanged. This is the second book in the First Law series. And I've got to say, I thought this was better than the first book. Um, I know I gushed about the first book, but it did take a while to get going. And some of the characters didn't really click with me as much um, in that first book. Um, Giselle Dan Luther was obviously fantastic, as was Sam Dan Glockter. But I found the rest of the characters really didn't really do it for me. Um, and that the book took a little while to get going. Other than that, it was fantastic. I, I couldn't you know, really complain about any part of the book. It was very entertaining. What this book does is increase the pace. It is much more um, of a page turner and the side characters are brought up to a similar level to those of the, of the characters that I love so much. And I have to say, the siege in this book, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I, I'm starting to understand I love sieges as well because Bernard Cornwell always does a good siege. And um, now I've got Joe Abercrombie to add to that as well. And yeah, this has a fantastic siege. And the whole story generally it feels like it's starting to go places now. And everything works a little bit better than it did in the first book. And the relationships between the characters, um, it's not just, you know, this is a character. Do you like that character? Do you have motivations? Do you, do you kind of side with that? All of that morally grey stuff becomes less relevant, I think, when you've got the, the kind of interpersonal dynamics happening between the characters and those almost become more significant, really, than the greater plot and everything that's going on. Though, I will say, the intrigue does crank again and you are left wondering again, you know, what is going on? Because there's clearly more going on um, to these characters and to the plot than we are shown. And I'm really now excited for the third book in this series. Um, I'm actually going to give this book a 4.7 out of 5.